Next to the scramble for information and testing for the sick, so many people taking officials' warning seriously and hunkering down now at home, hoping to stop the spiral of cases. New York State reporting its first two fatalities. Here's ABC's Diane Macedo. Tonight, New York is reporting its first two coronavirus deaths as COVID-19 spreads across the country. Mayor Bill de Blasio confirms an 82-year-old woman died after being admitted to the hospital last week in critical condition. She was also battling advanced emphysema. It's unknown how she got COVID-19. And another 65-year-old victim with underlying health issues died in Rockland County. We're going into a full crisis footing. This is a wartime dynamic. New York State is now reporting 524 cases. This is a virus that does not threaten all segments of our society equally. This map shows what nationwide cases looked like just two weeks ago. At the time, the virus was confirmed in just nine states, and the first death had just been announced in Washington. Tonight, 49 states are confirming cases, plus the District of Columbia, with more than 50 deaths nationwide. West Virginia is now the only state with no reported cases of COVID-19. The common complaint? Lack of thorough testing. We don't feel like we have enough tests. I don't think anybody feels like they have enough tests right now. Local governments are trying to catch up with drive through testing sites in San Francisco, Seattle, Denver, Birmingham, all the way to New Rochelle, New York, where residents with symptoms have to call a hotline to schedule a test. Each city has a different protocol. Meanwhile, the president is promising a website to help streamline the testing process. But tonight, questions are mounting about that. This is nationwide. At least 46,000 schools have closed, keeping some 26 million students at home. For the first time ever, Apple is closing all of its stores worldwide, with the exception of China, for two weeks. And tonight, retailers say they're working with suppliers to keep up with heavy demand for cleaning supplies, toilet paper, and hand sanitizer. We're still replenishing it and shipping it, but as soon as it hits the stores, it's going. All right, Diane Macedo joins us now live from Times Square. And Diane, we are just getting some breaking news in as you were reporting there uh, about an outbreak not too far from Times Square in nearby New Jersey. That's right, Tom. Teaneck, New Jersey, is reporting 18 cases. The mayor there is now asking people to quarantine there and not leave their homes unless absolutely necessary. He says he believes people may have been walking around with cases for four weeks now. So again, Teaneck, New Jersey, rather, asking residents there to self-quarantine using the language that this is now ground zero for this virus. Tom? Diane Macedo with that breaking news just in tonight. All right, Diane, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.